Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be eating like my mom for a day. A couple weeks ago, I ate like my dad for a day because he just has this really weird, healthy diet. And I briefly talked about how my mom also has a very strange diet. And you guys really wanted to see me eat like her. So this is where this video was born. My mom doesn't eat gluten or dairy. She also doesn't drink or eat any caffeine. And also there's just like a lot of other foods you just doesn't really eat. So it was definitely a challenge following this diet for a day, but hope you guys enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get on to it. Good morning guys. So it's about 9.20 a.m. right now. I just woke up, I am very hungry and not that excited to eat like my mom for today. Um, she gave me her like menu last night of what she typically eats in a day and it's it's not a lot. I just know I'm gonna be so hungry. She said that for snacks she just eats like a lot of fruit and stuff so I'm gonna be eating a lot of fruit. So yeah, this should be interesting. Um, like I said, I'm really hungry right now so let's go downstairs and eat some Yogurt, just yogurt. So going into more specifics of what she eats for breakfast, she said she has dairy-free yogurt with berries and almonds, and then she has decaf coffee with stevia and nut pods. And nut pods, I think it's like a creamer she uses. Um, and decaf coffee, apparently caffeinated coffee gives her headaches, so I can't even have caffeine today. And of course, no complex carbs. I'm gonna miss my complex carbs for breakfast. I think I always have something with carbs for breakfast. So this is gonna be a little bit weird. But yeah, let's get that yogurt. Okay, so we got some dairy-free yogurt. I actually don't mind this. It's the So Delicious Dairy-Free Coconut Milk Yogurt Alternative. This is the peach flavor. Then we just got some berries to put on top and a Thank you, Bryn. Lots of berries and some almonds. And we're gonna put that all together. It's gonna be good. I'm probably gonna be hungry, but it's fine. I'll be fine. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna put the yogurt in this bowl so I can easily put stuff on top of it. Oh, fun. That's like no yogurt also. I think I need two of these normally if I were to have this breakfast. Okay, now we got some berries. So I'm just gonna add a handful of Blueberries. Got some blackberries. Blackberries are really hit or miss, honestly. And then I'm gonna cut up some of these strawberries. Okay, that that should be enough berries. Actually, that's definitely like way more berries than she'd ever eat. But I want I want to be full. I'm really hungry. And to finish it off, we got some almonds. Those on top. This actually looks really good. Okay, and. This is breakfast. That was really good, I'd eat that. Just probably with like toast or something. Like, clearly you can't have today. Anyway, um, let's go make some coffee. Okay, so these pods are the decaf ones. I just don't understand what the point of it is. Like what's the point of coffee if it's decaf? So now to doctor it up a little bit, um, we got two stevias here. I hate artificial sugar. I think it has the weirdest taste, but this is this is what she uses. Ah, it's so bad. I think like stevia is literally the worst. Splenda is a close second. I just always like to use regular sugar. It just tastes so much better. Also, I really hate having hot coffee in the summer, so that sucks. But doing it for the video. And then she adds Nut Pods, which is a almond plus coconut creamer. It's unsweetened, dairy-free. I don't know, she loves this stuff. We get it all the time for her. And so yeah, I'm just gonna pour that in. I don't, I think she like, well, it's gone now, so. <laughs> okay, and I know she doesn't drink it with a straw, but I don't wanna stain my teeth, so I always drink coffee with a straw. I know I'm not gonna like it, but like, it could not be horrible. I'm not optimistic. Yep, there's that stevia aftertaste. I don't know if everyone sees the difference between stevia and regular sugar, but I can clearly taste the difference. It just has like the weirdest aftertaste. However, this is not bad. Like it doesn't taste as bad as I think straight almond milk or straight coconut milk does. So I don't know, maybe maybe I'll start using this. Like I am lactose intolerant, but I normally use just like lactose free milk, but this this could also work, honestly. So this is okay. It's the sugar that's getting me, but definitely tolerable. I definitely think I could drink this a lot easier than the coffee I made when I ate like my dad. I just 
can't heat oh he didn't use sugar that's what made it really bad so this is still not great but it's doable Okay guys, so it is about 12.10 right now. I have been starving since 11.30. That is not enough food for me. Um, yeah, today's gonna be hard, but I figured it's an appropriate time to get some lunch now. My mom said she made some chicken salad for herself that she had some left over, so I'm gonna go eat that. Not a huge fan of chicken salad, but it's better than a regular salad, which I thought that was what I was gonna end up eating, so this is probably for the best. <laughs> Let's see here. Mom, do you want to explain what we got for lunch? We got some rotisserie chicken salad. It's uh, rotisserie chicken, apples, celery, light mayo, salt, pepper, and thyme. Thyme? <laughs> thyme. <laughs> Something that I don't have a lot of. <laughs> it smells good. It's really good. This is better than a regular salad. I thought I was going to have to eat salad. <laughs> salad. Mm. It's really good. Sometimes mm. I have to put like, uh, yeah. uh, walnuts or almonds in it, depending mm -hmm. on like, how I'm feeling. But, um, I approve of this. Except your breakfast, I ate it at 9.30. I was starving by 11.30. Did you put almonds in it? I even made it bigger than you normally do. Someone's a lot of avocado to it. I wish you added avocado to it. Add some avocado to it. No, you didn't do that. You can't care. Perfect avocado. Well, okay. If you insist. Yes, add some avocado to it. Okay, mix all that avocado yeah. in. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, got some watermelon here. My mom ate this earlier, so I'm gonna eat it now. She didn't really cut it though very well, so we're just gonna fix that a little bit. I'm so hungry. We're only two meals in, and just eating like this is already making me sad. All I want is some complex carbs. We only got fruit. Also, I just haven't stopped being hungry since I woke up, so that's fun. Yesterday, I got a sandwich from Panera and they gave me this piece of bread, right? I saved it so I could eat it today because I didn't want to eat with my sandwich. But of course, I am gluten-free today, so. Gotta save this for another day. Genuinely so sad, can't eat bread. You don't understand how much bread I eat. Like, this is, this is really weird. <laughs> Okay guys, so for a snack we're gonna be eating, or are you eating them? No. Okay, well I'm eating them. Um, this is your snack though, right? Yeah, <laughs> I could eat the whole bag. In fact, I have eaten the whole bag. That's the <laughs> problem. These are vegan, but they taste like cheese. I, I mean, don't like vegan cheese. No, they taste like just regular like cheese crackers. They're really good. Like cheese it Yeah, like cheese its Okay. They come in three different flavors. It smells really weird. I don't like it. <laughs> you just don't know what cheese tastes like anymore. Maybe that's it. So weird. Health for you, chia bar, chocolate peanut. I like chocolate peanut butter. It's so tiny. It tastes good. I feel like chia. Chia is like a kind of, but you like chia. It's kind of a weird consistency. Yeah. It tastes okay. It's just consistency. It's like chewy. Chia. Mm -hmm. Kind of funny consistency. What is that? Chia bar. Tasty. Actually, chia doesn't really taste like anything, but it fills you up. It's chewy. Whatever you're putting it in. Okay, so we're gonna eat some chia. What are you eating for dinner? I'm having a glass of wine. Bubbly, a burrito bowl with, le I'm having a bowl with lettuce, grilled vegetables, chicken, vegan cheese. Ooh. <laughs> vegan cheese, though. So, lettuce, chicken, I guess you won't put rice in it. I love rice, that's my favorite part. Sorry. Veggies? Yeah. I like veggies. Salsa, guac, all that's up there right now. Are you gonna put that on yours? Yeah, I'll put salsa and guac on mine. I'm gonna put this on my right. Okay. Is anybody else using this? I'm not starving. Yeah, I'm gonna. Some guac. No, oh, I didn't do sauce. I did sauce. So, why are you drinking? Thank you. There's not a lot of cheese, so I feel like I won't taste it. It's spicy. So, if you taste something spicy, but. You're not something good. So far, it's good. Oh, it's got so much crap on it, I don't know how to do that. 
I ended up just eating pretty much everything but the lettuce because I'm not really a salad person, but you have every last bite. <laughs> so what's for dessert? Mom, which flavor is your favorite? I like that soy vanilla. Okay. It's actually coconut, but it's close yeah. to so, so delicious, dairy-free vanilla bean made with coconut milk. Mm -hmm. No sugar added, what is this? Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. Like, I feel like I normally like vegan ice cream, but huh? I bet you there's a strong taste of stevia in it. Yes. I hate stevia, too. Try the other one. The chocolate cherry from um, Fairview. Fairview. It's really good. And this then, is no. bad. Oh, that's why it's no sugar added, because they use fake sugar. That one's really good. There you go. So overall, eating like my mom for a day was not a good experience, honestly. Like, I felt like I was never full. I just wasn't eating enough food, even though I was eating more than my mom was for the day, basically. And I think for the most part, just like cutting out food groups just did not sit well with me. It like felt weird. I don't like restricting food like that. And yeah, definitely not the diet for me. So although I was, I guess, healthy, it didn't feel healthy. I didn't feel good, full, energized, none of that. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this diet I tried for the day. Personally, it's just like not something I could ever do again. It's not even like the diet itself, like gluten and dairy free, like I'm sure that's possible. Just like how my mom does it, that's not something I could sustain long term. I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I post new videos every single Saturday. I also have Instagram and a Twitter, so go ahead and follow me both of those and I will see you guys soon. Bye!